Hello my friends, Lucas with Miller Card Trading here, coming to you with a brand new video. But you know what, it's not a new release video, because we're kind of in between new releases right now, at least for me and for baseball. Uh, I know there's, you know, basketball and football and all these other sports coming out all the time, but I'm mainly a baseball guy, so right now I'm kind of waiting for the next thing to come out is actually September 27th, Tops 5 Star. And uh, those, those have two really nice high quality autographs per box. And that's it. So I, I don't know if I'll be getting any 5 Star. I haven't decided on that yet. Uh, and then October 2nd, we've got Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. Now I am considering getting a case of those. Uh, because I love Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. And a case would be really cool. And then uh, October 9th, we got Bowman Sterling. Now, that's the high end of, of Bowman. And those are, geez, like around $450 a box. Uh, really nice cards, but it, they're pretty risky. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't get a whole lot of cards. And if you don't get the right players, then you don't make your money back. I mean, that's kind of typical with uh, a lot of releases. But I think I'll probably skip Bowman Sterling as well. Uh, and then, I've been waiting for this, October 11th, we've got Leaf Metal Baseball. Now, you guys know I love Leaf cards, and I, I really love Leaf Metal, uh, the baseball release. They have a hobby size and a jumbo size, and I have one of each ordered, and I'm seriously considering a case, uh, probably of the jumbo. Uh, the jumbo always sells out right away um, before the hobby. Um, because you get twice as many autos in a jumbo box and it doesn't cost twice as much as the hobby box so uh, jumbo is the way to go and then october 25th we've got leaf press pass baseball which i haven't seen before i have seen leaf press pass football and i bought a couple of boxes of that um i don't know if it was last year not too long ago nice cards really nice cards um and I think the Leaf Press Pass Baseball would be pretty awesome too. Haven't decided if I'm going to go that route. Uh, and then skipping way ahead to November 20th is Panini Prism Baseball. And I haven't pre-ordered any of that either. So basically right now I'm waiting on Leaf Metal Baseball. And that's about it. So I was in Spokane shopping today for my boys' birthday. Or this weekend. And I looked everywhere for baseball cards. Um, didn't find any retail in any of the places I checked, like, uh, Walmart, Fred Meyer, uh, whatever else. I forget where else I checked. But at the mall, at one of the shoe shops or sporting goods stores, I forget what, they had some hobby boxes. They had some blaster boxes, nothing I wanted, but they had a couple of these Bowman hobby boxes. So I thought, what the hey? I've only opened one of these so far. Why not go for a Bowman Hobby Box? And maybe I'll get one of the sweet, rare anime cards. Or who knows? Maybe I'll get a Lombi Auto or a Dylan Cruz. Or, or who knows? You never know what you're going to get. So that's going to be awesome. And uh, before I crack that open, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things uh, that I brought in. So I got my Jackson Holiday Refractor Auto graded sort of a bummer on the grade look at that i got an eight on the card and a nine on the auto i mean i very rarely have seen an auto get less than a 10 and i mean look at that what's wrong with that auto nothing so anyways an eight nine not not a very good grade but you know what it's an incredible card and i think i'm gonna hang on to it instead of selling it now my Ellie De La Cruz um, Tier 1 Auto came back a 9 with a 10 Auto. Sort of what I expected because the Tier 1 is a real thick card with these really sensitive edges. These kind of um, foily edges on the sides here. So I kind of expected a 9 and that's what I got. A 9-10. Really nice Auto. Numbered to 44 which is his jersey number. That's pretty cool. So I am keeping an Ellie De La Cruz Tops Rookie Auto. And I have a Panini, uh, is it National Treasures 
uh, RPA of him that I'm keeping as well. So one other thing I picked up last week. Look at this sweet oversized Mickey Mantle. This is a 1964 Topps Giants, they called it. So it's a, just basically an oversized baseball card. It has kind of a cool looking newspaper article on the back. There you see it's number 25. Uh, I'm, I believe I'm going to send this off to SGC for a grade and see how it comes back. So I thought that was just really cool. And then one other thing. I was in Lids. I mean, uh, yeah, I was in Lids today. I bought a sweet Mariner hat. Right here. So the, the deal with Lids is if you buy uh, one of their specific tops um, themed hats. And look at the inside. It's pretty cool. It's got 86 wax packs on the inside. Uh, you get a Topps Chrome Lids pack. Uh, so there's three cards in here. Uh, of course, I opened it already. Had to open it in the car. You know that. So I got a, a PCA rookie, Pete Crow Armstrong. I got a numbered Byron Buxton refractor, which is pretty cool. A lot of people collect Byron Buxton. So that's number 31 of 99. And boom, Adley Rushman. I collect catchers, and Adley's a good one. So there you go. There's my three tops chrome lids cards. And enough talk. Let's open. Before I do, like my video. Subscribe to my channel. That'd be sweet. And I appreciate it. And let's check out Bowman 2024 Hobby Box. So inside here, we're going to have 24 packs of 10. A lot of cards. But you know, mostly what we're looking for is chrome cards uh the chrome numbered refractors we're looking for our one auto not not very many autos that's why the jumbo is better of this one although the jumbo costs a, a lot more than the hobby so they didn't they didn't even have any jumbo where i got this one and they actually only had two boxes so i picked one of the two and let's hope it's a good one, right? So that's a lot of cards. 240 cards. I know you get at least two of the uh, Lunar Glow Parallels. And I don't know what else you get. But what I really hope is I get one of the rare inserts. That would be awesome sauce. Oh yeah, you get a mini diamond. One mini diamond per box. So of course we're looking for Dominguez rookies. There's our mini diamond. Right off the bat. That's Jack Hurley. So that's a unnumbered. Jack Hurley refractor. And we're going to have a lot of paper base. Of prospects and of rookies. And uh, veterans. But we also will get paper parallels. And these are this is an insert, Bowman Top 100. Nothing too special about those, except you can get um, parallels of those. You can also get them autographed. Ethan Salas, Johan Fraun. You know what? I'm going to move these over here. There we go. So I'm a little late on my weekly video, but here we go. I found something to open. All right, there's our Lunar Glow. It's Brian Acuna. That's not too shabby. Okay, what do we got here? And we got Aiden Smith. That's a good one. That's a Bowman first. Up, oh, I see a pink. Or magenta, whatever you want to call it. Curtis Mead, and we've got a Justin Verlander. Verlander numbered to 299. That's a paper parallel. And 
nothing else in there. Luis Baez. Ah, Walker Jenkins Bowman first. That's a good card. Now, I know, of course, we're looking for Bowman first autographs, but you can get rookie and veteran autographs out of this stuff as well. So, what do we got here? Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. That's uh, Bowman Top 100 Christian Vaccaro. Uh, but it's numbered to 125, so I think that's an aqua parallel. I think that's a sleever. What do you guys think? Vaquero. Surprised he's only 80th out of the top 100. There we go. There's a sleever. What else we got? Capri Ortiz. And we got Arjun Namala. Ooh, and Skeens. Another couple of good cards right there. That, of course, not Skeens uh, Bowman first. His Bowman first was in Bowman draft, I believe. Yoshinobu. That's a good rookie card. Ooh, I think I see something awesome coming up. Riley Green. Ooh, it's numbered. It's... Oh! Oh, 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 you guys. This looks pretty awesome. Okay, this is an orange. This is an an orange parallel Gladiators of the Diamond insert autograph. Holy crow. Now look, we just have to hope that it's a good name. It's got to be fairly good because that insert set only has so many names on it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Who's this going to be? A prospect or a rookie? Dun, 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 dun. Marcelo Meyer. Okay. I wouldn't have picked him, but holy crap. That is a wicked hit. Holy cow. Man, I wasn't expect. I, I kind of expected I would just get a, a straight up no name prospect Bowman Auto out of this. But holy cow. Number to 25. Gladiators of the Diamond. Marcelo Mayer. Wow. Boston Red Sox, right? Yeah. Red Sox. Let's hit that with a... Wait, that's not a 55. That's a 75. There's a 55. Holy mama mia. That is a good hit. Whoo! What a cool card, you guys. That Gladiators of the Diamond is rare in itself. But then to get a numbered and autographed one? Holy Kishmolean. Wow. What a great hit. Now I'm so glad I bought this box. That is such a cool hit. All right. Moving on. Ty Pete. Luke Kishal. Kaisel, Kiko, Kakel. Okay, and that is an orange, right? It's got to be. It's, it looks more orangey than, than normal. Uh, I suppose it could just be numbered because it's the autographed version. But I'm pretty sure it's an orange. That is a whopper. Yes, indeed. Man, what a cool autograph. Okay, that's another insert. Now we're shooting for any cool numbered uh, parallels. Because that was our one autograph. I mean, I, I don't know that you can get bonus autos in, in Bowman Hobby. I don't think so. Okay, there's our next Lunar Glow, and that's going to be Yankil Fernandez. Yankel? Yankel? Mr. Bove. Then we've got Herman Ramirez and Anthony Schull. Skull. Oh man, I can't get over that. Gladiators of the Diamond. That is too cool. What a great hit. So I know everybody's opening Bowman Chrome right now. Because that's the latest thing out. But I've already opened my Bowman Chrome. 
if you watched that vid, it was pretty good. A hobby and a Breaker's Delight box. Uh, another Sebastian Walcott. I just might get Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes though. They are pretty awesome. Aiden Miller, that's a good Bowman first right there. Ryan Burroughs, Bowman first. So far we've got the Verlander Pink, that's paper. Uh, and this here, the uh, the insert. Capri Ortiz, Ryan Lesko. But you gotta count the auto, because that's numbered too. And then we've got three unnumbered, the two Lunar Glow and the one Mini Diamond. So three numbered, three unnumbered, that's actually not bad so far. Okay, so there's a Dylan Cruz Rising Infernos. That's a really cool looking insert set. And I, I was hoping to get one of these, but I can't remember how rare these are. How rare are these, you guys? Of course, I'll look it up before I put this video up. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up. Not only because it looks so freaking cool. That it could be. Have a little bit of value. Alright we got four packs left my friends. Probably not going to get anything better than that. That's for sure. Alright. Oh, look at that. We got some kind of a blue wave, uh, ray wave or lava coming up. And it's a chrome parallel. And it's going to be Kevin Sim. Hmm. Not super familiar with Kevin Sim. But he's a Diamondbacks prospect. So I, we are getting a few numbered cards here, aren't we? Then we got Braden Taylor and Mac Horvath. We got a Skeens Bowman AI. That's a nice one. And Colin Hauk and Joe Andrew Vargas. Okay, my friends, last pack. Will we get one more hit? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Nothing there. We got a rookie of the year fave. A lot of inserts in this. And we got Mike Bove and Kendall George. Okay, that is it, my friends. Pretty awesome box. Look at all those inserts. You really do get a lot of inserts. Okay, first of all, we got our two uh, Lunar Glows. And our one mini diamond. That's our unnumbered parallels. Then we got the good old paper Verlander. Numbered to 299 Better sleeve that up. Yes sir. And then we got this sweet Dylan Cruz Rising Infernos insert. We got this sweet Kevin Sim Blue Ray Wave. Number to 150 We got the Christian Vaquero. Uh, Aqua to 125 on the top 100 insert parallel. And the monster gladiators of the diamond orange parallel auto number to 25. What a killer hit you guys. Love that card. Okay. Thank you for watching my friends. Uh, I will see you in the next baseball card video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you later.